One of the best things to share is a really good laugh, and South Africans have learned to appreciate a pretty broad sense of humour. Vikash Mathura and Ray Maharaj are among the local comedians who've developed a loyal fan base, especially when they assume the identities of Harry and the uncles. When Vikash Mathura and Ray Maharaj announced last year that their characters Bala and Peru were retiring, thousands of listeners were devastated. Fortunately, the uncles missed their audience as much as their fans missed them. And they're back on stage with their signature style of irreverent humor. When auntie asked me, how's Patma? Nice to ask, I said. Patma's critical, eh? Patma's critical, but the house, Amma said, Peru, go India and do praise for her. I said, what praise? That she must die or she must live? She said, I'll break your leg for you. Gonna pray for her to live. So I went to India. I went to about 20, 30 temples there. Not to pray for Padma. Some rubbish stole my slippers, but the first temple, I can't find my slippers there. The Uncle Peru and Bala have been busy with their own domestic uh, lifestyles. Uh, Uncle Peru has had many, many challenges in his family, Ray. Yeah, as you know, that Amma came out of the coma, but with the shock, my wife, or well, I beg your pardon, <laughs> Uncle Peru's wife is, is now in a coma, so Papa is in a coma, and uh, Uncle Peru recently had to go to India. But I'm not in a coma. Yeah, no, no. it's a semi coma. Semi coma. Semi coma. You were telling her you like a blue quadrate trousers. She flung her medication by me, she flung it by me. In the semi coma. She said, you're rubbish, I'm not wearing blue quadrite trousers. Oh. That's my very good veins <laughs> Uncle Bala, on the other hand, well, fortunately, he's had no medical crisis in his family. Um, he's been busy learning a few domestic chores and trying to help around the house to score a few brownie points with Auntie Sowers. Um, and today, they're here to share their experiences over the last 10 months with uh, all the people in Johannesburg and uh, the audiences of Mela Television, the viewers. See the men's here. How many of you have come here with your wives? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Don't be scared. Put your hands up. Five of y'all. <laughs> The rest of y'all are Mufatias for life. <laughs> In fact, Sawa's backside getting so big, yeah. she's taller when she's sitting down. <laughs> How do the uncles get away with everything that they say? That's because <laughs> Fatma is in the coma and she can't hear a thing. <laughs> Who is Harry Mama? Harry Mama was first introduced to South African audiences in 1994, actually, um, when I was doing a, a series called Gotcha on Lotus FM. Harry would make prank calls to various people and celebrities in the South African community. And when the uncles took to stage, um, Harry had such a strong personality and celebrity status that he actually insisted, he threatened, that um, he gets a small role in those shows. Otherwise, his, uh, his drug dealing friends would not bankroll any of the performances. Now, Harry owns a business in uh, the Clearwood Market. In fact, he's one of the most famous Indian businessmen in the country. Unfortunately, um, because of some sour business deals and uh, run-ins with the law, he spent the last six months in jail. First day I arrived by the prison. This big seven foot oar came by me. Seven foot oar. And next to him is two sidekicks. And those two sidekicks, you could just check, they were Mufatias. You could check Mufatias number one. You can check the swinging both ways. <laughs> In fact, the one Mufatia had six lip ring piercings here. Six. I wanted to vibe by the door and hang one shower curtain on his mouth. Have the uncle's outlook on life changed in any way um, during the last 18 years, Ray? I was thinking about that and looking at some of the old videos and some of the old scripts. And I think the uncles have been very consistent in terms of what they like, what they dislike, what they hate in life and uh, the, the humor has been, I believe, consistent. I remember my past funeral. So many people came, Peru. 
so many people came ah. and the way they was crying. See, Mpavo, he must have been a very popular person in the community. No, ah. they, they wasn't crying for that. What they were crying for? He owed them so much money. <laughs> The best way of um, coming up with concepts or scripts is to attend family weddings. <laughs> because the venom that the wives show to their husbands, the anger they show towards their children, the envy they show towards other women, uh, these are all examples that we pick up at these family social events and it's translated onto the script and then onto stage. James Bond audition for the role of Miss Moneypenny, take 12. Hello, my name is Mosi, Dahlia Mosi. My children are going to be so happy that I came for this audition. I'm auditioning for the role of Miss Money Penny, but you can call me Miss Indian Rupee. I don't like my martini shaken, and I definitely don't like it stirred. Instead, I like my martini sprinkled all over my body. The name's Bondi. James Bondi. James Durganath Maganlal Moti Prasad Rup Sankar Bondi. As entertainers, have we ever performed to a stone-faced audience? That's the one problem that we've never had in the 18 years of being on stage. We've had a remarkable reaction from our audience and we're ever so grateful that we've got a fan base out there that absolutely loves the uncles and all the other characters that we've created. We've done in excess of 550 shows in 18 years. That's a lot of shows. Uh, many people perform for a lifetime. And I mean, I'm still young. Ray is still young. As you can see, he's 30. I'm 24. Um, in, our, in our career, We've never had an audience that has had a stoic response to our show, probably because of radio. Call the nurse. I've got a nurse with the house now. Mm. What, the, what number of the thing is that? <laughs> the hey, nurse? I put CCTV cameras in all the rooms and yeah. all that. Eh? Very nice. Hey, because you must said, monitor Patma. Pedro. People said, oh, you're, you're so concerned about the missus. I said, yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're supposed to be professionals on stage. Um, but very often we find ourselves cracking up at, uh, at the content or the audience reaction. Um, how do you do that? Well, I, I tell you, when we went through the rehearsals and we were going through the script, and I've, I've written the script, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I was hysteric, I was laughing, I, I loved it. And this is what we enjoy doing on stage. We, we laugh together with the audience at some of the humor, and we love what we do on stage, and we love entertaining the audiences out there as well. Blue, green. No, I said, Fatima, what is this varicose veins? Mm. She said, no, that is not varicose veins. What I said, what is it? What she is said, it? no, that's the wiring for my hot plate. <laughs> We've had our detractors. You see the letters in the press. You see the... Uh, Letters that have been sent to the Broadcast Complaints Commission, letters being sent to the SABC, to Lotus FM offices, what and what have you. My, my mother even got a letter. However, over the years, not one of those complainants or complaints that went through to the, any of the official parties have ever come back to us and said, change your product, change your content. What you're doing is unacceptable. As Uncle Peru, put your hands together for the one and only Mr. Ray Mara. Ladies and gentlemen, Vikash Mathura! Thank you for coming, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. Good night. We started the tour in Johannesburg um, back in August, and we're heading to Durban in October um, to the Sabaya Casino, that's the Isizula Theatre, on the 21st and 22nd of October. I'm a big fan of uh, Peru and Bala. I think it was awesome. Really, the uncle's rock. A lot of Indian jokes, which I, which I really enjoyed, <laughs> as I'm not from Durban, so this was, this was pretty cool. Absolutely fantastic and hilarious. They should carry on doing what they're doing because I think they're hilarious. They're honest. <laughs> we think it was excellent, it was nice, the comeback was amazing. Nice to laugh at the time, and it was good. <laughs> I think they're awesome. I really enjoyed it. Just in closing, Ray, we want to say thank you to Mela on SABC2 
for uh, interviewing us and for uh, listening to everything that we have had to say. Thank you to you, the audience of Mela, for watching us and thank you for supporting our careers for the last almost a quarter decade, a uh, quarter of a century for me and almost 20 years for you, Ray. That's right. Thank you and God bless.